Hey guys, this is Peace Sword Up with Void. This is a simple and easy GIMP tutorial on how to make a banner on the new YouTube One layout. And this is my banner I got from my channel. I just created a new one. And this is okay on future one, two, three, four. This is the one I created for him. Looks pretty nice. So right now, first you gotta open up GIMP. Everybody's supposed to know that. Now you want to click um, open as layers and then go down and look through your um, pictures for the YouTube one layout templates this is it but I'm not I don't use that I use something more channel art spec for, so for this this is for TV this is the si size dimensions usually this is the text set slash logo safe area this is where you put all your text and stuff in your Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. All those logos in there. So then we click layer, new layer, then white, and put the two two thousand five hundred sixty pixels by one thousand four hundred forty pixels. So then here we go. You put two thousand five hundred sixty by Sometimes this do, does it by itself. So right now, yeah, put it in. Click white. Don't click transparent. And put it down. Wait for now. You just click do that. Now you click invert. Now it's black. So you put it down. Put this up. But then you can't do that. So uh, uh, it's just great. So you just get that up. So here we are. Now click open as layers. And then right now you need to find a really nice um, plain background. Right now I'm using a blue background. And um, for whatever black background you get, you need like a good like you need good text colors to match it. So here we are. We open up this so we were scale layer, and I do the same thing we did before. This one does it by itself. Okay. So there we are, look at it, it looks so nice. So now, I'm going to make this real it's easy for you guys. Now you can um, click opacity. So now you see the logo safe area, right there. So now, now you're going to go, hmm, I had that. Okay, here we are. Now you can go to super logo. Super logo is a nice easy site where you can get yourself a little logo, super logo. So here we are. These are different texts that you can have the super logo. It's pretty good. Right now I'm gonna use uh, uh I'm gonna use this one over much to show you guys what it is. So now you can change the colors over here, use gradient colors, all that stuff. Right now you can change your colors, name colors. I'm going for uh simple dark blue and uh I'm gonna go for gold, dark blue and gold. That's pretty good colors. So now you go back up. You choose this text size. I usually choose about 70 when I'm doing this stuff. So I'm gonna click generate. So here we are. You can click generate. It looks look like that. Not too good because with the gold. But when you look again. You can just change up the colors. Be like put down cyan. And then put down aquamarine. And you click generate. Colors a little lighter. And look at it. it; looks pretty good. You can barely ch notice the change in color. So here we are. It saves up as P PNG. So here we are. PNGs are transparent images most of the time. So you go go back to GIMP. And then you look for file. Open as layers again. Then you look for that thing. I'll uh, we'll keep going and I'll look for it. I'm gonna look for it right now. So then I can't really find it, so I'm gonna go all the way up to Windows and downloads. And I see that and I keep going down. And I'm gonna look for it. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna find it. So I forgot what it's saved under. So you just look at the date on the side and you'll find it. So we are looking through it. 
I can't see it. Oh, uh, this one right here. Okay. Yeah, right now it's 6:45 where I am. So here we are. This tutorial. It's pretty small, but you can just open. Um, click, right click it. Scale layer, and then I'm gonna put it like 700. And then just if you want to get that, just press tap, tab, and it's gonna do it automatically when you do scale layer. So then it gets bigger. So right now you just put it in the middle because it looks good in the middle. So right there we have it. And then we are gonna put this back. And then the tutorial in the middle. You just looks like a big whole thing right there, but the tutorial in the middle. So if you want some things like Twitter and Twitter logo on the bottom, um, you just type in Twitter PNG and then you'll find all of these over here. So right now, you just go down, keep looking. But I found I already found one that looks pretty nice. But I would think it's a um, portable network graphics. So here we are. You just move it around to make sure it's nope, it's not. Because if you see a white background around when you white background, it's not PNG. So just keep going, keep going. It's not. You can kind of see it. Just keep going. Oh, um, that's not really. It'll take me a while to look for it, and I think I found it. So here you go. And then this one, yeah, this one is, is transparent. So here we are. We just save image as. And then we're just gonna save that Twitter icon. So here you are. We go in there. Go back to GIMP. And then we're gonna click file open as layer. Then we already have one, but oh well. That this one that looks kind of lame. So Twitter, Twitter icon. Okay. So there we are. So it's kind of bigger than our actual thing. So we're gonna click. Then we're gonna go put down the opposite. And then here we are. Twitter. I mean tutorials in the middle. But then you click Twitter icon. Right click scale layer, and then I'm gonna put it down to 300. And it goes 300, 300, but it's still pretty big. So then you're gonna go down to 200 and just keep going down 50, 100, and you'll find the right thing. So it's still a little too big, but I'm gonna put it down to 150. So 150 will work. 150. But it's still a little too big. People don't want their um, logos to be that big. So I'm going to put it down to 100. And then it's going to be 100, 100. And then that looks pretty good. So right now you got tutorial right there. Looks pretty nice. And so if you want to click layer, new layer. And then you go click um, transparency. And you just do that. After you add that new layer. Uh, for some reason I can't. I don't know, for some reason. But oh well. And after that, you want to click text. And then the, for these are the texts I have right now. Um, I'm going to use this one. But for to get different texts, you just go to, um, for a game, you just go to thefonts.com. www.thefonts.com. You can get different fonts here. Um, you can get peach, milk, orange, juice, cute, love, all this, cherry, all this, angry birds, pink clouds, villa, all these good texts. You just look through a cartoon, comic, groovy, old school, and so on. Not that many stuff you can go through, but it's a lot. It's like a lot of pages for a cartoon. It's like 114 pages, so that's a lot for one thing. So here we are. We're going to go back to the GIMP. And then you just add the text. I'm gonna put the color to uh, color you can see actually. So there we go. We're gonna put it to that, and then we're gonna click 47 because it's not that big. You just when you, when you see that thing, you just pull it and then you just want to put something down. So I'm gonna put Twitter www.twitter.com and just gonna. But it's a little too big. I mean, it's a little too small. So we put it back up to 50. 
Now we're just going to keep dragging it up to 84 or just put it down to 79. So now we're going to drag it all the way over here, drag it up a little bit, drag it up a little more too, and then put it down a little bit. So there we go, pull this over and then just click on it. There we and then click on this and put it back up to 100. There you go. You got yourself a simple and easy. It, it looks pretty good. Like with the plain background. But guys, if you want to make all of your stuff with Super Logo, just do what you just type in the text. Try to get it right. Scale it up to whatever size is good enough for you guys. And this has been a simple and easy tutorial. And how you guys can pretty much make a make a banner that's pretty that looks pretty simple plain it's plain but who cares it's, it looks pretty good and so i hope you guys enjoyed it's been pc or devil void see you guys next time